Captain Copperbot. Play out your latest insult, boy. But I promise it shall also be your last. I'm tired of this game, and I'm ending now. Man would be requiring. I have a 
the list right here. Now, will this be good news? For the captain would not be planning a long stay if this is all he needs. Yeah, mm. bet you feel trifling necessity. Ah, my aching back. That was then a spy bit of treachery that was, then, see? Aye, oh, it was. What was? Come now, Moose. We can see how clever you are. You can. Ah, your brilliant plan to slow and pass down with that overloaded launch. Dash me, punch with the shillelagh. Oh, no, sometimes I'd be so devilishly clever that I don't even know it myself. And um, hey, what's the next part of my famous game? By launching the longboat, of course, so as we might track Ben to his hideout and rescue the gap. Stop on the soul of sweet Sally Mulligan, and what a great land this truly is. If I do this all me smoke. I've got enough lollygagging, you lovers. Launch the longboat. We're off to rescue Captain Hawk. Oh, well, I'm a song. Yeah. What manner of vile poison is that, my lady of Norvia? It's your medicine, Captain Hook. And Dr. Gnome says you must take every drop of it. Well, I shall not. Very well, sir. You may stew in your own bandages for all I care. Come back here! How dare you walk out on me? A man in my delicate condition. Oh, now, what, I say, now, what would be the best news, the very best news I could bring you, sir? You have hydrophobia? Well, sir, what I mean is that I checked my roots this afternoon, I did. <laughs> and do you know what I discovered? Uh, I tested you with the wrong root. <laughs> you are perfectly, absolutely well. Bye. Do you have any idea, sir, what you have done? Oh, I, uh, no. You, sir, are responsible for... For... For giving me a wonderful opportunity. The opportunity, in fact, of a lifetime. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dr. Gnome. That will be all. Goodbye, farewell, and <laughs> And now, that I might be ready to properly and fitly thank Peter Pan for his simpleton's hospitality. <laughs> might as well rock the whole jolly run. Skinny as your horse cubs. Take it with her to this gum and follow right to the chamber. Oh, this place has got more hoity whores than Mother McCready's bloomers. Well, uh, Peter Pan will be anywhere. Uh, 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 oh, Peter. Peter Pan. Could you come up here? At one? Now. Just here, dear boy. Have you a job? Miss Wendy ever relayed the story of Little Red Riding Hood to you? Little Red Riding Hood? No, not that I recall. Cool. Cool. Come, that I might repay your hospitality by being the first <clears throat> and the last to tell the tale to you. I make no impression to my tail. Oh no! So on, I forgot to tie it up. Go Magical wood test. 
a pinch of fairy dust. A pinch of fairy dust? For that much, we should be able to send Hook back to the Jolly Roger. Well, there's certainly no reason why you shouldn't. Not now. Whatever do you mean, Dr. Nelms? The man is perfectly, absolutely, and completely well. Ah! Captain Hook can go back to his ship any time he wants. Hook is well and in the underground house? Then Peter is in great danger. Yeah. Oh, seems like I've got a lot of work for this one damn little story. Here's a rondo for a gentleman of fortune. Lost forever in the bowels of Neverland. Aye, and in a pit what's unquestionably overrun with every manner of foul spirit and demon. Scuffer me for a squid made in, but we'll burn him up. What in the name of blue blazes was that? Oh, it is done. We just bumped into the captain's lodge, you know. The captain's lodge! Closer, Master Man. Come, just a tiny bit. What? Thank you. 
you, Admiral and Scooby. Enough! Cut it, you obnoxious cut it. Come, fight me, man to boy. If you dare. Well, I would certainly be glad to, but I'm afraid you don't have the time for it. Not good, I say. Not good at all. Are you certain, Doctor No? Am I certain, you ask? Am I certain? Not just look at the poor man. He cannot, I see, cannot be moved until the next vernal equinox. Oh, would you weeks and weeks away? The old knives and silver spoons. Here we go again. That, my snide sprite, is, I say, is an understatement. Now, where are those fresh leather men? Fire fuse, deadline, and don't just stand there gaping. Look like it. I have a list of things to suspect. Let's go there, right now.